What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some changes coming to the Weapon Bloom and some nerfs coming to a few of the vehicles in Battlefield 2042. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel. Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout to save 5%. And Amazon Associates. I have a lot of items linked down in the description that I use every day in gaming. Some things you might be interested in. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that sub button. Some of the dice devs have been on Twitter, been on Reddit talking about some of these changes. They said we'll have two large updates within the next 30 days. They have not given us a specific time frame on those just yet. Hopefully we're going to get one of those this week is what I'm hoping anyway. But of course, when it comes to updates, we know how sometimes these things can get delayed, but we should have two major updates within the next 30 days. And a lot of the conversation, of course, has been around Weapon Bloom. Of course, you know, the mechanics within Weapon Bloom uh, in the game. Now, DICE did say Weapon Bloom has been in every Battlefield game there has been. Now, they did not go into exact details of how Weapon Bloom has worked in the past. I'm assuming they're talking about when you're on the move in Battlefield, we all know it's not like Call of Duty or Apex, where you can actually move and shoot and your bullets are actually as accurate as they are if you're standing still or if you're crouched or you're, you know, laying down. I'm assuming that's kind of how the weapon bloom mechanic has worked before. But right now they say the AR side anyway is bugged. That the subs and why the subs are seem so good and why everyone is using submachine guns is because the weapon bloom is working correctly on the submachine guns, but it is bugged out on the AR. So when it comes to the AR side, they say you're pretty much getting a lot more, almost two times more of the bloom than you should on an AR and while the submachine guns are acting, you know, as they should. So that's why it seems like subs are beating everyone at all distances because the subs are actually working as intended and the ARs are not. So if this was working correctly, if the AR side was not bugged, we should see the ARs, you know, start to shine at that mid and long range. But right now they're pretty much horrible at mid and long range. So you're actually able to put a submachine gun in single fire and beat pretty much all the guns in the game besides maybe some of the DMRs or some of the snipers. But overall, this should be a big improvement. It should make ARs very viable, make ARs as, you know, as they were intended to be used in the game and not just make the subs, you know, kind of the standout weapon. Because right now, there's pretty much no need in running anything but a submachine gun. The ARs are decent, but with this bug being, you know, in-game, you might as well just use a sub because that's pretty much what everyone in game is going to be using and you're going to get beat majority of the time if uh, you're using an AR and another player that has good aim is using a submachine gun. So hopefully that will get fixed. Also, they talked about the little bird or it's not called the little bird in this game, but you guys know what I'm talking about, the small helicopter and the hovercraft. Both of these apparently are going to get, are going to get a armor rework and weapon tuning. When it comes to the armor, they're going to put light armor on both. They said that both of them are too hard to destroy. Also, they're going to look at the weapons on both. So they're going to tone down the minigun, the rockets on the little bird, and they're also going to tone down the machine guns on the hovercraft. The hovercraft is probably one of the most OP small vehicles I've ever seen in Battlefield. I mean, myself and three or four other people have been in matches where we're trying to blow up a hovercraft and you cannot do it because they get away. They're very elusive. They'll pop their smoke, come back in a few minutes when it's regen, run over everybody. It's just very annoying. And the, uh, of course, the main uh, machine gun on it is very, very good. And of course the ones on the side are, are as well. So if there's a, a large group in a hovercraft, they pretty much can mow down an entire team just over and over. So that is going to get reworked. That, like I said, that armor is going to be a lighter style armor, just like on the little bird. So it should be easier to shoot down. I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to make any other changes to any other the, uh, of, of the other vehicles, excuse me, in the game. Uh, they have not mentioned anything about tanks or anything of that nature so far. I'm assuming that weapon tuning and vehicle tuning is going to be something we're going to see, you know, pretty often within Battlefield. You know, that's kind of something all developers work on. You know, you always work on weapon tuning. And of course, if you have some kind of vehicle option, you're always working on tuning for those as well. So we should see some changes, hopefully soon. No specific date just yet. I know Battlefield is in a very broken state right now. Sadly, that's just kind of the world we live in when it comes to games. It's not like they always release in a broken state. But I've played all the BF games, and I honestly cannot remember the last time I played a Battlefield game that was bug-free on day one or within the first year, really. And that's, like I said, it's kind of a sad thing to think about, but it's just the case nowadays. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.